Hi, it's Mike Shaheen with HHO Connection. Today I want to show you how to build the little white flash ports that you see on top of my bubblers. Now if you're new to HHO, let's just do a quick refresher. This is a bubbler and this is the flash port on top. And the only purpose of it is like a pressure relief valve. When you have a flashback come into your bubbler, it's going to ignite all the HHO gas that's accumulated at the top. And you need to blow that pressure off somewhere. It's a really simple device. It's made out of PVC and parts you can buy at your hardware store. And inside this little thing is nothing more than a mouse ball. And when I say a mouse ball, I mean, you know, the, the mice that you use for your computer, the old style, had the little rubber, the, the metal ball that was covered in rubber inside it. That's what's inside of here. There's a mouse ball with a three inch spring inside a couple pieces of PVC. And that's all it is. Uh, and the concept is really simple. You've got, a, you've got a small opening at the bottom down here. And the mouse ball is pressed by the spring up against that opening to seal it off. And then in the event of a flashback, the air pressure just pushes that ball up. You can see through the little hole here. It just pushes the mouse ball up and releases all the air out here. So, very simple device. I'll show you how to make it. It'll take you probably about 10 minutes once you have the parts. These are the different components that you're going to need in order to build the flash port. You're going to need some sort of PVC glue. I use this stuff called Christie's. You'll need a spring. This particular spring is 3 inches long. It's 5 eighths inch in five-eighths of an inch across this direction and I don't know the the pound strength of it but if you notice I can squeeze it completely with my fingers with you know quite a bit of effort you don't want a spring that I've, I picked up some that I could barely mash at all it was just too way too tight I think this seems to be a pretty good one again three inches long five-eighths inch five-eighths of an inch across that way you need a mouse ball you need a small piece of one inch PVC pipe this piece is cut to one and three quarters inch in length it doesn't have to be real exact you need this little piece here, which I believe it's called a reducer. Uh, it takes a one inch PVC pipe this direction and reduces it down to a three quarter inch opening on this end with threads here. And then the last piece you need is this little cap that's going to go on the end of this and form, which help you know, which forms the flash port. So let's show you how it all gets put together. Okay, the first step is to take your piece of one inch PVC pipe and put a little bit of your of your uh, PVC cement on there. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this around the edge here and we're going to put a little bit on the inside of this reducer piece like so and you're just going to insert that piece into there like this get it all the way in until it seats all the way to the very bottom just like that okay that's what you should end up with Okay, I've given it about 10 minutes now for the glue to dry inside here. And the next step is to drill some holes through, the PVC, through this PVC piece here. Now if you look down the center there, you're going to have to drill through both these layers. You want to go all the way through. So again, I'm going to take a 3 8 inch bit and I'm going to drill three holes around this. So I'm going to cut the camera. I'll come back after I'm done drilling. Okay, so I've got the holes drilled now. As you see, I've got three 3 8 inch holes drilled around there. And all we're going to do is take the mouse ball, we're going to drop it in there like so, take the spring on top of that, and then we're going to cap it off with this guy like that. And I'm holding it together. I'm just going to get some glue and glue that together, but that's how it's going to go together. So, take out the spring, take out your mouse ball, grab some glue, you're going to apply a little bit of glue to the outside of here, And the inside of your cap. Okay. Take that. Drop your mouse ball in. Drop your spring. Grab your cap. Press it all together. Hold on till the glue sets. It'll take a couple seconds. And there you go. There's your flash port. All you got to do is let the glue dry now, and you're ready to go. Well, there you go. That's how I build my flash ports. Like I mentioned, it's a very simple design, but it works really well. So now you have no excuse. Whether you build one like this or your own design, put a flash port on all your bubblers. Take care.